Um, Lee, can you just take us into the dressing room? What's the feeling amongst the lads at the moment? Uh, obviously in a very good mood. Uh, I think we, we put in a fantastic performance this afternoon. Um, you know, we put the pressure back on Barnet, which uh, you know it, it was going to be a tough ask. Obviously, we kind of knew that they were going to get the three points at Dartford. Um, so we come into the game knowing that we're, we're four points behind them. Uh, and I think all credit to the boys in there. It's, you know, it showed the strength of character we've got in the changing rooms that we've, you know, first half wasn't great, but I think in the end we scored three fantastic goals. Yeah, Ellis Harrison, two goals. You must be pleased for him. He's been a <coughs> substitute a lot this season. Started today, got you two goals. It's been brilliant all year. Um, you know, from what I can gather, I've said it before, from what I can gather in previous years, he's not really been the flavour of the month to, for people. Um, but, you know, Ellis is a fantastic lad he's a fantastic talent. Um, he's got 13 goals this year, as you said, a lot of them from the bench, but today he's, he's proved that he can score goals when he starts. Um, I think for us at the moment, for us as experienced lads, is to keep him firm, his feet firmly on the ground. You know, he's, he's obviously very chops in there at the moment, so we've had to give him a backhand or two. But uh, no, he's a good kid, um, and we've, we've, we've got a lot of young kid, young lads in there who are, are doing really well week in week out. And obviously, there's ones that aren't involved as well. I thought in the second half you annihilated Kidderminster, but at one nil, were you always nervous? Was it a nervous scoreline? Yeah, I think one nil is. A, you know, it's, all, it's always nervy because they, they can get that, especially with the pitch as it was. Um, you know, it, it was very bobbly, very bouncy. You know, one one little ricochet could put them in and they and they bring it back to one all. Um, but you know, some I, I don't really want to tempt fate. But when we do go one nil up, I, I really fancy us to see the game through. I think our back four have been fantastic all year. We've just said then I think there's 20 clean sheets we've had this year, so it's a fantastic achievement. Yeah, and at the end when you were, you know giving a, a, lap, a lap of honour almost or appreciating the support today. <coughs> 2,600, I mean, that's almost the highest crowd full stop Kidderminster have had. I mean, what tremendous away support today. Words can't describe how magnificent they was today. 2,600 people on you know, Easter Monday is truly phenomenal for, for any football club, I think. You know, you probably look at some Premier League teams that wouldn't even take an away following like that. Absolutely magnificent from start to finish they were today. And I think that if, if we can continue that, um, you know, if we take it to Southport next week at the Mem and, and the, the voices are still the same, the singing is still the same, it really does make a huge difference, especially when you come here. I've said it before, we play Forest Green away at their place and we had three quarters of the stadium, it was exactly the same here. I mean, the support this year has been truly phenomenal and obviously as, as a group of players we can't thank them enough. And it's very exciting now, isn't it? Just three games to go. Um, you, all you can do is keep winning your games and um, hope other results go your way at some point. Yeah, we've got to keep, we've got to keep winning and keep putting pressure on them. Um, you know, they've got, uh, on, on paper, they've got difficult fixtures. Uh, I don't know if they've got to come here or not, or they've got, or Kitty have got to go there. I'm not too sure. Is that that way around, yeah? So, as we, as we proved today, the first half is a very difficult place to come. Um, you know, they've, they've got Halifax as well, who we are vying for the playoffs, but we can only take care of ourselves. I mean, it, it all comes to nothing if they slip up and we don't capitalise on it. So we know the next three, we've got to approach it in the right manner, get three points. You know, I think we've, we've got five wins on the bounce before and that's what we need. So we'll, we'll look at next week now. We've got a couple of days off. Obviously, it's been a very busy uh, Easter period, so a couple of days to recharge and then come back again Thursday.